Aaron, what made Herman so tough tonight? I thought his stuff was really good. I mean, he was, he was, you know, he, he has that ability to kind of throttle back and forth a little bit on his fastball, reach back when he needs to. Um, but, but I thought his sinker was really good and lively tonight. You know, he ripped some really good ones that he brought back to the outside corner. Um, you know, and, and then he mixed, he mixed, he pitched, you know, good breaking ball, really good change up, you know, in command, you know, thought, you know, finishing off that seventh inning where he's probably starting to get a little bit tired, kind of reached back and made a pitch to finish off what was a great outing for us and a great, great tone setter on the evening. You mentioned getting through that seventh inning. He's efficient throughout it. Just how positive a step is this for him and, and really for the rotation who you've been looking for more length from in general? Yeah, no question. Um, look, I, I talked about the confidence I have in this group and, and um, you know, what I believe they can be as a staff and as a starting rotation. And um, it, it's really good to see, you know, both Corey now and Domingo get deep into ball games. Domingo, after a rough first inning, some of it not his own doing in, in Cleveland that really didn't have much to do with pitching, you know, now has gone six and seven innings back to back and uh, feel like he is in a really good spot now moving forward. You can go next to Marley Rivera. Hey, Aaron, what did you see in that uh, play with Frazier? And is that something that you need to speak to him about or you already did? Yeah, we've Base spoken. running. Yeah, we've spoken to him. It's just a, you know, just a bad read. I mean, it's almost like he looked at it, saw the guy was going to catch, and then, uh, you know, just kind of broke. Um, you know, obviously a mistake there. And um, so, yeah, it's, you know, they've, Reggie and Mendy have spoken with them and, you know, just talk about the read and making sure we're obviously aware of, you know, where guys are positioned and obviously with the shifts and stuff, you got to be uber aware of, of, of where the defenders are. And Aaron, uh, at, you know, with, with Frazier, I'm sorry, it's not only about Frazier, there's been a lot of base running out, you know, for you guys, and you always talk about tightening it up. Mm -hmm. um, how does one do that? <laughs> um, <clears throat> instruct remind uh make sure ahead of time you know pre-pitch pre-pitch you're ready and anticipating and you know making sure you know everyone knows you know who the good throwers are who who the you know fielders we can take advantage of where we want to be aggressive what situations are you willing to kind of roll the dice and and make an aggressive play um you know you just gotta it's that fine line again between you know, going out and playing aggressive, but, uh, you know, not being fearful of making a mistake either. Aaron, was there one pitch, one sequence in the early innings that told you Domingo was really on tonight? I thought his stuff was really good. You know, I, I thought he was pretty electric with his stuff. Um, he ripped a couple of backdoor look like two seamers um, away for, for freeze jobs, maybe against Franco, maybe Mancini. Uh, you know, I thought he was really good against Mountcastle after, you know, going breaking ball with him early and then mixing in a lot more sinker as the night went along. Uh, so I guess there were a number of times I was, I was like, that was pretty special finishing pitch right there. Um, and he did it with everything. You know, he had some freeze breaking balls. He had some change ups for soft contact. And, and again, I thought probably his best command and stuff wise with the, with this, with the fastball and the sinker tonight. Aaron, uh, Stanton was just in and said that, you know, it, it looks like the at bats are getting contagious. Is that what you're seeing? up and down the lineup for the most part there's no question that it's been better you know and I, and tonight's a good example of that um where you know we scored seven and and obviously we'll take that every time you know but you know it, it's also one of those games we, we probably could have scored more the way the guys swung the bat you know number of guys hit the ball well and didn't have much to show for you know hicks had three good at bats tonight didn't have much to show for and um so yeah it's you know, we're not all the way where we, we where we want to be or going to be, but there's no question. I feel like this trip, um, the consistency of the bats, you know, that 
kind of rallying around that team at bat, just go up and have a quality bat. It's starting to starting to build uh, definitely a little bit more now. And also you took Gio out. Is he okay? Yeah, he's, he's okay. Um, he was one of those guys I was maybe going to have down tomorrow. Uh, maybe it'll be a conversation now. Thank you. And then Teddy. Aaron, uh, Aaron Hicks tonight hit two balls pretty hard, had the ball caught in foul territory at third base by the catcher. Uh, have you, uh, what do you say to them at, at this point uh, as the struggles kind of continue? Yeah, focus on the at bat quality. And, and the bottom line is he's working. I thought his BP was really good today after maybe taking a little bit of a step back after a few days of good at bats. And then today, you, you know, as frustrating as it is, you know, your first time up, you smoke a ball to right center that they run down. Then you smoke a ball to the shortstop. And then with the bases loaded, you almost clean them out for the sack fly. So you got to, you know, again, in this game and in a game of hitting in a game of failure, you've got to build on, you know, what are some really good at bats and, and, and at bats that have gotten better on this trip and continue to work and, uh, you know, as hard as it is, not focus on the results. Just focus on going up and having a good at bat, and the, and the results over time will be there. One last question, one last question for Bedlin Ashani from MLB.com, and then we have Gibby Gold from Mon waiting in the way. Hi, Aaron. Um, so now it's been two really good starts for Domingo from Mon since he went down to the alternate training site. I just wanted to ask. What were the reports coming in that you heard from the coaches? Like, what did they say about what he was working on and what they were seeing from him? Yeah, I think just really fastball command. And he was with us a lot of the time because, you know, when we optioned him out of need, um, he was with us at the alternate site or on our lap. He was on the taxi squad on our last road trip. So he was with us a lot of the time. And then he went down there on the fifth day and made, made a start. So he would be back in line when we could call him up after 10 days. Um, so it was really, I think just him working on feel and command with his fastball. Um, he was able to do that through five, you know, five innings down there and, uh, you know, was back in line to, to come pitch with us. And he's kind of picked up like, you know, I know he had a couple of, you know, sort of rough starts, but they were a little bit wonky and, it didn't deter what we were seeing from him all spring long. And I'm not surprised to see him go out there and pitch the way he is right now. He's in a really good place and throwing the ball really well.